So now I'm going to show you how to don a dry suit correctly. So first of all, what we do is we pick the suit up and we will grab the crotch of the suit and we will turn the suit in halfway. Like that. And so you can see the two openings for the legs on either side. That is the correct way to do it. Make sure the suit is the right way. So in this case it would be that way with the lady forward. And one thing you need to watch out for is the braces on the suit. You need to make sure that they are to the back so you can step in. And the most important part is as well, make sure you stood on the dry suit mat. Otherwise you will get punctured latex socks. So first of all you start with putting one of your legs in. It's probably easier if you start with your right leg. And don't pull the latex, just pull the back of the suit until you're put into the sock. And then again we'll do it with the left leg. You can use the gaiter to pull the sock up. Pull the suit to halfway, make sure the crotch is up. Next step of big braces. So we'd start with putting the braces on. Make sure they're comfortable, adjust if needed, pull the suit up. Next step is we're going to put the arms into the neoprene seals, but you want to make sure that you use lubricant for this. So supplied with these suits is a dry suit lubricant. Undo the cap and apply a small amount inside the cuff. You want to do this to both wrist seals. small amount and this will extend the life of the cuffs. So first you can either start with putting your left or your right arm in. As you can see it's very easy to do. You can either pull here and pull on or pull the suit like that, push your arm forward. Very easy. So we can use a bit of the lube that's on your hands if you just rub it around your neck, maybe on the seal as well. So the, the best way of doing this is just stretch the neoprene open, or sometimes it would be easy if you can just put your head straight through. What you don't want to be doing is pulling the neoprene from the outside in case you split it or put your nails through. So to get the perfect neck seal with this, what you do is you turn it inside out until you've got a nice comfortable fit and the neoprene is flat on the inside of your neck gives the best seal. So the next step of donning the dry suit is to actually close the zip at the back so because this is a rear entry zip you will need one of your colleagues to help you out. Turning your arms forward like this will help as well. <laughs> what you need to make sure is as well, like with these plastic zips, you always give that extra little pull at the end to click it in place. Put the, put the zip flap down and that will protect the zip. So after your colleague has zipped up the back of your suit, you will still have air inside the suit, which can restrict movement. So the best thing to do is just to get the air out. So the best thing to do is, Pull the neck seal slightly without tearing it. And just kneel it down and as you can hear, you can hear all, this, all the air coming out. So your colleague will need to undo the zip on the rear. Next seal, what we need to do is get either hand, just put it in ever so slightly either side without using any nails and the best way to do is push your chin in and dip your head out like that. The next step is with your wrists, never pull the neoprene because that will cause it to tear. Roll the suit down and pull on the material. As you'll see, your hand comes out very easy. Do that on the same side. And also make sure that the, the seals are back out of the suit and not inverted. So make sure the suit is rolled down. Take the braces off. 
pull it down ever so slightly. You may need something to stand next to. Try not to pull the latex sock. You may need to just get it over the ankle part to start the first bit off and then use the gaiter. Once the first foot's out, it's a little bit easier then. 